Hello, and welcome to my channel. My name is Jonathan Cohn, and today I have a special book news video talking about the book news coming out of the Chris Kennedy Publishing Panel at LibertyCon. For those of you who do not know, I went to LibertyCon this past weekend, and there were a bunch of publishers present, and they all had publishing panels where they talked about their new releases and their upcoming books for the next year. And I uh, sat in on some of these panels, and I took a bunch of notes, and I'm going to talk about everything that was announced so that if you might be, see anything that interests you, you know what it is and where to find it. Uh, all these books I'm going to talk about, if they're previously released books, they can be found on Amazon. And if they are like newly announced books, they probably don't have a pre-order link yet. But still, uh, you can look up uh, Chris Kennedy's website, um, uh, Chris Kennedy Publishing, where you can find a lot of this information as well. But uh, let me tell you a little bit about Chris Kennedy Publishing first. This is an uh, independent publisher run by a guy named Chris Kennedy, who I met at the convention. He's very nice, and he has a huge publishing enterprise. He publishes between 50 and 70 new books every year. That's over a book a week, like a book every week and a half. That is an insane output, especially for an independent publisher, especially for an independent publisher like this. And so it is very impressive what he's doing at his publisher. Uh, his overarching publisher is Chris Kennedy Publishing, but he has six individual imprints. These, An imprint, for those of you who don't know, is like a sub-publisher that deals with like a specific sub-genre or series. And the imprints at uh, CKP, which I'll refer to for Chris Kennedy Publishing. The imprints at CKP are Beyond Terra Press, Blood Moon Press, New Mythology Press, Quillcraft Press, Seventh Seal Press, and Theogony Press. Only four of the imprints that I mentioned are actually present uh, and discussed at the panel, so I'll only be talking about those from those four. All right. Uh, uh, I would like to mention how the panel worked. Uh, Chris Kennedy himself was there. He had a big projector where they put all the pictures and the information on the screen, and we could uh, see that uh, in person. And uh, uh, he would bring the authors up on uh, to the stage if they were um, uh, present at the convention, and they would give like a 30-second or minute-long spiel about their book, uh, pitching it to the audience, and they would give any new announcements uh, if they had anything new to announce. If the author wasn't there, Chris Kennedy himself or one of the other editors at his publisher um, would talk about the books uh, for them. Uh, I was only able to take low resolution photos of the uh, of the screen, and so uh, if anything is like a previous released book, I'll try to get a um, like a nice high resolution photo on the screen. But for some of this, I either will have to use a low resolution photo if it was just announced. Or I will just have to not have a photo up there at all if I wasn't able to snap it because there, the news was rapid fire and it was a lot for me. I was trying to type everything and take pictures at the same time. I was very busy during this panel, but there was a lot that happened. So let's go ahead and get into it. I'm not going to spend too much explaining each series. I'm basically going to tell you what the titles are, what type of series it is, where it comes from, and who the author is, and, that, and when it releases, if it's a new release, things like that. I'm going to be really fast with this. So... Let's get into it. The first uh, imprint discussed here was the New Mythology Press. And the first books, and then the New Mythology is a fantasy imprint. And the new books, uh, uh, the first series discussed was a fantasy series by Kevin Steverson and Tyler Ackerman titled The Balance of Care. This trilogy has two books currently out, the books titled Burnt and Accepted. The third book is titled Released and will be coming soon. Um, uh, and then the next series that was discussed was the Endless Ocean Trilogy by G. Scott Hudgens. The first two books in this trilogy are already out, titled Responsibility of the Crown and Responsibility of the Throne. The third book in this series, titled Responsibility of the Fleet, will release in September 2024. The next series discussed was the 27 Kingdoms series by Tricia J. Woolbridge. Wood Woldridge. The first two books are titled Heart, Wings, and Fire and Shadow, Ash, and Prophecy. The third book is titled Faith, Love, and Magic and will be releasing later this year, although we do not have a firm date on that yet. The discussion then turned to the Heirs of Cataclysm series by Christopher G. Nuttall, which has three books currently out. 
The books are titled Chimera Coup, Pandora's Vox, and A Hope in Hell. The first big announcement that came from the New Mythology Press uh, uh, part of the panel, which is the like the new the, the first thing that was announced that had like we had no idea about it, was that uh, Aaron Rosenberg has signed with New Mythology Press and Chris Kennedy Publishing. And uh, Aaron Rosenberg has been a longtime author and publisher, and he's been he's been writing for a bunch of big series like Star Trek and uh, World of Warcraft and other big series. And he is coming to the New Mythology Press and Chris Kennedy Publishing to produce a trilogy of books titled The BEO Files. These books will be releasing in early 2025. The first book is titled Oversight and is tentatively scheduled for March of 2025. The second book is titled Malpractice and is tentatively scheduled for April 2025. And Revision is set for release in May. And those are the three books that he is bringing to New, to New Mythology Press. So they're publishing one a month. Boom, boom, boom. March, April, May. There was also a discussion about the Firehall sagas by Rob Howell, who was actually in attendance at the convention, and he was able to talk a little bit about his books. Uh, the books are titled A Lake Most Deep, The Eyes of a Doll, Where Now the Rider, and Farewell My Ugly, which are all currently out. New books in the Firehall saga were announced at the convention, including, and I'm going to pr- pronounce this incorrectly, so I apologize, the Rurik saga, I think. Uh, also by Rob Howell, which will be a companion volume of sh- collected short stories, poetry in universe, and historical documents from the Fire All Saga. And I actually got to hear uh, Rob on a, another panel talk about how he uses historical documents and poetry and short stories to, to try to flesh out his world and make it feel more lived in. And it was really fascinating. Uh, so the Rurik Saga is coming soon. We also had another series discussed from New Mythology Press titled The Milesian Accords by John Osborne, who was also in attendance at the convention. This series is five modern fantasy novels with short stories, and they plan to release more in the next couple of years. There was also a discussion of their Fantasy anthologies, which are also known as their Libri Valoris anthologies, And these books uh, have all been released uh, in the last couple of years. And they talked about When Valor Must Hold, Songs of Valor, Keen Edge on Valor, and Bonds of Valor. Hope you get the concept that there's a lot about valor in this series. Um, uh, The publisher also discussed a mailing list for New Mythology Press if you go to Chris Kennedy's publishing website. So if you ever want to keep up to date on any of these series or you want to know about new books coming out from new publishers, this go to Chris Kennedy's website and uh, get the New Mythology Press mailing list and you'll get a lot of new announcements. All right, that was one imprint. Let's talk about the next imprint that was discussed. The next imprint discussed was the Seventh Seal Press, which is most known for the Four Horsemen universe. This series uh, that they discussed first for this was the Phoenix Initiative, which already has 13 books out, uh, the most recent being Companion to Ghosts by Casey Azell and David Shadowin. Uh, which is supposed to be a bit darker than the other books in the series. Um, book four in this sub-series of the, uh, the, the Phoenix Initiative is going to be titled Bureau 42, and it's a short story collection that releases on July 12th, 2024. The publisher estimates that there will be roughly about 20 books total in this series by the time that it is completed. And again, this is the Phoenix Initiative series, which is part of the Four Horsemen universe. The Four Horsemen universe is enormous. I think they said there's like 80 or 90 books in the Four Horsemen universe. That's a huge universe of of shared a uh, universe where a bunch of authors contribute uh, to this type of storytelling, which I think is what's called mecha storytelling uh, with like uh, guys in these kind of suits and warfare and stuff. I'm, I'm unfamiliar with this series, but I actually uh, bought one of the books from it and I intend to, to get to it eventually. They also announced a new role-playing game and book uh, for the Four Horsemen universe titled Rules of Engagement. And this game has some artwork that they actually revealed at the convention. And uh, here's what the artwork kind of looks like. 
All right, let's go to the next, the third imprint that was discussed, which was the Theogony Press. This is their kind of science fiction uh, and space opera press, which is a very all-encompassing press. I think they did the most discussion uh, of their books for this press. And this is also known as the home of the Salvage Title Universe, which is probably one of their biggest uh, universe, shared universes at Chris Kennedy Publishing. And this is a very light and fun science fiction series. And uh, full disclosure, I actually purchased two books in the Salvage Title series at the convention. I purchased the first book in the series, Salvage Title, by Kevin Steverson, and I purchased one of the later books in the series, Fallout on Darsana, by Melissa Olthoff. And so I plan to read uh, these and other books in the series eventually because it looked really interesting to me. Um, uh, in terms of coming soon books, it was announced that the Multifront series is on the way, which will be a multi-author series with battles and wars with different races and systems. The first new trilogy will be by uh, Kevin Steverson with other books in this uh, overarching series by Nick Steverson and Jason Cordova, which will release afterwards. The current series in the Salvage Title universe is known as The Coalition, which has 19 books published and has over 10 authors involved. A new novel by Melissa Olthoff, titled Daughter of Shippo, is scheduled for release in late 2024. And a new Space Hyenas novel by Nick Steverson and Melissa Olthoff, titled Capers and Chaos, is scheduled for late 2024. They also discussed that uh, David Allen Jones also has a book titled Salvage Race, which is releasing August 16th, 2024. Uh, and uh, they also discussed that there is a salvage title movie coming. They discussed that uh, at the panel that the, uh, the, the movie studio uh, uh, has uh, optioned it and has uh, commissioned the script and the script is done. And so they are working on, uh, and I think this is a smaller studio that's working with the larger studios, and the script is done, it's locked in, all they need to do now is finish pre-production, get the people involved that are going to get involved in the series and actually shoot the movie. What they did tell us was to be, that they are confident that there will be movement in the movie, as in they will be working on it, but they don't want everyone to get too excited because they think it will be a decent amount of time before the movie actually gets to screen. So it's not going to like happen in the next year or so. It'll probably be a couple more years before we see this movie released. But it's cool that a small indie publisher like this already has a movie option. Another series from this press, the Theogony Press, was The Ashes of Antasia by Casey Azell and Chris Kennedy. And I apologize if I butchered any of these titles. I'm, I'm, I'm trying here. This trilogy is titled The Queen's Fixer, or sorry, this, this trilogy has three books in it titled The Queen's Fixer, The King's Daughter, and The Conqueror's Promise. Uh, all three books have already previously released, and there will be a new anthology coming July 25th, 2024, edited by Casey Ezell. The next series they discussed was the Lunar Free State series, which has 10 books released. Book 10, three-player game by John E. Sears, is releasing on July 5th, 2024, and there will be more to come in the future. And I heard the pitch for this series and the pitch for this particular book, and I heard it, and I was like, ooh, that's really fun and exciting. I'm really interested in that. Next up, we had the Abner Fortis ISMC series by P.A. Piat. Uh, where they discussed how there are 10 books released so far in the series, the most recently being the book titled Holy War. Book 11 in the Fortis series, titled War Criminal, will release on August 30th, and book 12, titled Dinley, I don't know if it's D-I-N-L-I or if it's Dinley, I, I forgot, I apologize, but that will release, release in late 2024. Um, the next series that was discussed was the Guardian Covenant series, and all they discussed here was that book five in this series would come out in either late 2024 or early 2025. They are still figuring out when the release date will happen, and also uh, because of the way this series works, because it's shared universe, they have to decide who's actually going to get the first book out, uh, the fifth book out, I should say. All right, the next series that was discussed was The Last Marine series by William S. Frisbee Jr., and this has 10 books in it so far. It is currently on hiatus until the next arc is finished, but uh, William S. Frisbee Jr. is working on it, and the next arc is planned to be books 11 through 14. So the idea is that they will, uh, he will write books 11 through 14, and once the last book is done, they will release each book in quick succession so that they don't have a bunch of time between the books. Uh, 
But then they also discussed Fred Hughes's The Prince of Britannia saga. And Fred Hughes was there and was able to actually uh, give a discussion of this series. And Fred's, Fred's delightful. And uh, this series has eight books currently out, the most recently being the book Prince Dominator. The ninth book, titled Prince Imperator, releases in, on July 19th, 2024, and we actually got to see a cover for it. Uh, a subseries for this saga, titled The Scions of Britannia, was also discussed with titles like Hero's Legacy, Hero's Shadow, and Hero's Footsteps. The combined uh, service series by Joe Boone was also discussed, including the books The Magnetar, Elaine, I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing that again, and The Celestial Sea, which are all out, I believe. They also discussed the Seventh Shaman series by D.T. Reed. Uh, there are five books in this series. The most recent release was titled Trial by the Gods, and there will be two more books in this series. And then they also discussed this series called The Devil's Choir, which currently has two books released titled The Devil Calls the Tune and The Devil's Outpost. And they said there may be more books in the future, but they didn't give any firm release dates or firm information on titles or anything. We also got the Blood and Armor series discussed by Bill Fawcett and Casey Moores. Book one, books one and two, titled Never Again and No Fail, have already released. And book three, titled No Further, releases on June 28th. And book four, which they announced the title was Forlorn Hope, will release on August 2nd. It is by Casey Moores and Melissa Olthoff. They also discussed that there are audiobooks of this series voiced by Daniel Wisniewski. I am so sorry, I totally butchered that. Then the final imprint, the final imprint of the, of the evening discussed was Blood Moon Press, and it is the publisher of the Fallen World series. They only talked about one series here, and that series has 20 books in it titled, the, the 20th book is titled Truth and Consequences, uh, which is already out, and they said that the main series uh, for this universe is coming to a close in 2025, so they're wrapping up the main storyline. But Chris Kennedy, who is the head publisher, did announce that while the main storyline is ending, they do have plans to do more books for this universe in the future. It's just that the main saga itself is done. They also had a quick announcement that uh, there is something called CKPI, which stands for Chris Kennedy Publishing International, which is now an, uh, up and running and will be distributing some popular CKP books in various new languages and new countries. So check uh, Amazon to see if perhaps these books might be released in your uh, native language. Uh, I think it was mostly European countries and European languages like German and Spanish and French and stuff, but they're still they're, they're branching out uh, into new territory. So that is all of the books discussed and announced at the Chris Kennedy Publishing Panel. I know I talked about a lot. I was rapid fire with them. Um, uh, I did go faster than Chris Kennedy did in the publishing panel, but not by much. Um, uh, boy, I was trying to keep up with him. Uh, there is so much happening, and I really applaud Chris Kennedy Publishing for not only working with all these authors, for being willing to publish all these different styles of storytelling that you really wouldn't see in traditional publishing, but also the fact that he is trying to, to, to really treat himself like a professional publisher. This was a very professionally done panel. This, is, this panel was very much in the vein of the Bane Traveling Roadshow, which I'll talk about in another video, but uh, uh, it was very professionally done, and I really appreciated this, and I appreciated all the authors who spent their time to tell us about their books. So if you've read any of these series, let me know which ones you've read and enjoyed and which ones you didn't enjoy, and tell me which books here you're actually interested in reading in the future. And until next time, I'm Jonathan, and thank you for watching.